Hey guys, welcome back to The Danger. On today's episode, we're gonna go over the Vertex and how it helps you get Dolby Vision on your projector. Stick around. All right, guys, like I mentioned before, we're gonna do a little bit of a preview. I was lent the Vertex from HD Fury from a good friend of mine. I am now testing it out on my LS12000 laser projector from Epson. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna send a signal from the device, in this case, which is the Xbox Series X and the HBO Max app. It's gonna send the Dolby Vision signal to the LS12000 which natively does not support Dolby Vision. And instead it's going to trick that device into sending the Dolby Vision signal and then using the vertex to convert the image to a Dolby Vision-like image. So it should be a little bit better quality image than your standard HDR10. So many of you might be wondering, what is the difference between Dolby Vision and HDR10? Well, to put it simply, Dolby Vision implements its metadata on like a frame by frame basis, which makes it like a dynamic HDR as opposed to HDR10, which is static. So it's the constant same HDR signal uh, across the entire bandwidth for that content. So what does this mean? Well, really it means that if you're watching an HDR movie on an HDR display, HDR10 will set the same metadata for the entire film. Whereas Dolby Vision can change information such as color, brightness, and dynamics that make the viewing experience a little bit more immersive. So what I'm gonna show you in the video today is just one movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. I'll play some content with HDR10 only, and then I'll move on to the vertex processing the Dolby Vision content, so that metadata, and then I'll put them side by side. So thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out this video, but let's get going.
All right, everyone, um, I did my best to put them side by side and show you the content. I can post more if you're interested. Let me know in the comments below. As usual, like and subscribe when you can. And make sure you enter the contest to help me hit 1,000 subscribers. That link is also below. Thanks for joining me here on The Danger today, and I'll talk to you guys next time.